Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you love makeup reviews, tutorials, demos, and especially makeup beauty favorites like today's video. We actually don't have a, that many products, but one, they're all affordable products, and two, except for the first one I'm gonna mention, they're all flower beauty products. Like I have just, like I said, I've been trying, I've been loving so many flower beauty products. But just to start, the first product I wanted to talk about that I had been loving, I'm just like, wow, I could never do this before, but now I can. And it is the product that I'm wearing on my eyes today. It is my lashes, or they are my lashes. We're taking it back old school, or I don't know, I just don't hear anybody talk about these anymore on YouTube. This was back in my day, back in high school. How old am I? I'm gonna be 28. Ugh. 12 years ago, <laughs> when I started watching YouTube, all I heard about were red cherry lashes. I know probably, if anything, like a bunch of makeup artists still use them, but I just feel like in general, maybe just not as many red cherry PR packages go out, so not a lot of YouTubers talk about them, but these lashes are about years old ago when I wanted to try red cherry lashes when I first wanted to try lashes these are the number 43 lashes these remind me a lot of like the Ardell Wispies um, or like the, no, a little bit bigger than the Demi Wispies. These remind me of the Wispies and I had actually just run out of my Wispies or rather I had left them in the car and they already fell and I was like, it, it's time for them. And I just wanted something of more of like a chill lash still. So I was looking through my pile and like I said, I bought these years ago when I started my freelance kit. I honestly hadn't used them and oh no, I think I had used them, not these, but similar i think it was like the 48s or something because this is what everybody was wearing the 43s the xls or l something four seven six seven, i don't know oh my god but the first time i ever tried lashes it was hard for me to like feel comfortable in them to wear them so i know a lot of times people are like oh my god i'm struggling or no these do not look good these look weird and awkward that's exactly how i felt i feel like the advice that i always get everybody is start off with a small lash and work your way up if you're not initially comfortable some girls can go big go home you know type of a deal but not all of us and i've definitely been on that boat as well i totally understand so i would start off with something like the ardell demi wispies then i moved it to the wispies then i moved it to my crazy lashes and now the red cherry number 43s this is nothing this is my chill lash this is like let's go out for a jog type of a lash let's you know do some stairs do some squats you know i probably won't but i could totally like i don't even feel them like you know that type of a lash and i was like oh my god let's yeah let's do bring out the let's bring red cherries back so i have the 48 snails now i've got to, I've got to bring those out as well but comment down below if you are still using red cherries or if not you feel like wow this is a throwback i haven't heard of red cherries in a while but i am loving them and i think they also have them on amazon i'll link down below where i found a couple of them if you guys you know never got around to trying them you're intimidated or you just need to restock get some on amazon the next product that i want to talk about now we're moving on to my flower beauty favorites and this is the flower beauty concealer brush for some reason i had been wanting to start using a concealer brush to blend out my concealer and I especially love this brush with the flower beauty concealer I feel like this blends out so beautifully like really creamy concealers I've definitely tried it with more like thick mattifying concealers I'll admit it's not my favorite but something like the flower beauty a light illusion concealer or even I think like my Milani concealer it just Oh, it feels so good <laughs> when I'm uh, blending out underneath my eyes, especially something that's like not full on full coverage. It helps kind of give you that extra coverage and kind of like blend out. I just love it just feels like a little massage underneath your eyes. So if you guys have been on the market for a concealer brush because maybe you don't want to get messy, you know, you don't exactly like a sponge. You feel like it maybe soaks up too much product. I would definitely recommend this concealer brush. I saw this one and I picked it up from Walmart and because of that now i really want to try out their foundation brushes they have a couple of other brushes that i definitely need to check out but the concealer brush 
is a very much approved. The next product is another Flower Beauty product. I use this in my everyday makeup look that I just filmed. And this is their Miracle Matte Lip. I am no stranger to mentioning the Miracle Matte Lipsticks from Flower Beauty here on my channel, but I tried out a new color and this one is in the shade Bare Honey. I think they have one that's even lighter. And this one, I feel like maybe if you bought it, you try it, you're like, ooh, I don't know, that's too bright pink. I love to pair it with the Flower Beauty, their Petal Pop lip liner in the shade toffee which i did that review or not review i did the application for my tutorial best combo ever but in general i love this color it's a great shade for like the spring summer so i would say definitely pair it with your favorite lip liner i also love it with the la girl keeping it spicy lip liner something kind of nude ish like a you know nudie brown kind of coral not coral peachy ish I think it looks perfect. You guys have not tried these Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Lipsticks. You need to, the pigmentation is insane. I love it, I love the lasting power. I know for my birthday I wanna pick up, I need the shade Melon Pop. I think that's like a great, perfect summer shade. So don't be surprised if maybe you see that in my next favorites video. Why don't we just show you guys a little bit of a swatch. You'll seeing it swatched on the back of my hand. A lot of people are probably like, mm, girl, what you talking about? Like, Ugh, that's a little bit bright. Trust me, try it with the lip liner, it'll look gorgeous. The next product is a new Flower Beauty product that just released and I ran, I ran to my Ulta to pick it up and I love it. It is the Warrior Princess Mascara. Like I mentioned before, I tried the Lash Warrior Mascara, loved it. So I was like, you know what Flower Beauty, so far so good. Let's try out the Warrior Princess Mascara. I did a full review and demo here on my channel. I'll link that down below, but I just show you guys a little zoom in of the one totally different than the Lash Warrior Mascara. This one is definitely more of a dramatic look. So if you love a drama on your eyes, a little bit more edgy, I think you'll really, really like this mascara. Once again, check out that review and demo so you can see the difference. I always mention my lashes are by no means long. <laughs> so when I try a mascara and it truly lengthens or truly thickens, you can see that. Because sometimes I watch girls who have really long lashes and they try every crappy mascara out there and it looks great because their lashes are just great. I'm just kind of like, oh, really? really so i don't have great lashes <laughs> so you will see the difference from mascara like this and especially i feel like whenever i try a mascara and i love it you need to pick it up because it makes a huge difference for my crappy little lashes last but not least the favorite of mine that i've been loving i'm wearing on my face today as my bronzer this is the flower beauty the heat wave luminous bronzer they have two shades or at least that i've seen at my local walmart this one is the shade l1 and then they also have m1 so i would definitely recommend l1 it looks totally different i feel like look at like the difference when you kind of like swipe it on in the pan than it does like on your face it definitely gets that warmer effect on your face it looks like it's gonna be a little bit cooler for sure so i would definitely get the m1 if you're a warmer skin tone but i just i love the effect that it has on my face sometimes i even feel like i don't need a, a blush but i love it i love ugh. I love how smooth it is. There's no sparkles, there's no shimmer. It glides on beautifully. And like I've said before, I just feel like Flower Beauty products, they're just like meant to all go together because even when I don't kind of add any powder around my face, this glides on so smoothly. It doesn't like skip. It doesn't leave like any patchiness or anything on top of the Light Illusion Foundation. Like I said, the brush, the concealer brush glides on beautifully with the flower beauty concealer like they're just made for each other so this just tells me i need to do a full face of flower beauty products i hope you guys enjoyed my favorite products for the month of may there weren't as many i feel like i didn't buy too many products experiment with too many products this a month but still i think in general what i have tried i've really loved and i feel like i've just been obsessed with using recently Comment down below, give this a thumbs up if you want to see me buy more Flower Beauty products because they've just been making it in these favorites videos. However, if not, month of June is my birthday. 
So you know I'm gonna be shopping. I know I'm gonna be picking up some products because it's like treat yourself all month until the month ends. Like once you start, <laughs> once you unleash the beast, like I do pretty well. Like for a while, I'm just like, I don't need to shop at Sephora. I don't need, I don't need. And I was doing good for a good couple of months. And then I bought one thing and it's like, ah, I need to buy more, you know, type of a deal. So if you have any products you guys have been eyeing, definitely let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time.